bedroom, decorated in pale blue silk damask, belonged to daughter Helen, who was about to turn five when the family moved here in April of 1894. Helen's canopy bed is an original brown piece as seen in the historic photograph. Helen attended school in France, then finished in Germany. Like her mother, she was an accomplished singer and actress. She was often on stage during her mother's fundraisers, including serving as Queen of the Mountain Plains Festival. Helen married a publisher named George Benziger, and they settled in New York. They had two sons, James and George. Later in life, Helen remarked that, when Larry and I were young, we thought we had the best mother in Denver. It was through daughter Helen and grandson James that we have the many great stories about daily life for the Browns in this home. Helen passed away in 1970. JJ and Margaret had separate bedrooms, common for wealthier couples in this time period. This separation provided a private place for both men and women to change their clothing with the assistance of a maid or butler. Day beds, like the ones seen in front of the windows in both master bedrooms, were used during the day to rest, as it was considered bad manners to sleep on a bed already fixed by the maid. By himself, JJ traveled extensively as well, including as far as Cuba and Mexico for his mining interests. Like Margaret, he also had another home his in Tucson, Arizona. He never gave up on making another big find in Leadville like he had with the Ibex Mining Company. By the late 1910s, JJ's health was suffering from his many years spent mining. He passed away in 1922 of a heart attack while staying with his daughter Helen in New York. When asked by a reporter, Margaret said, I've never met a finer, bigger, more worthwhile man than JJ Brown. I salute his memory and claim him to have been without peer. We are now at the back guest bedroom. Letters and census records show an evolving list of relatives, wards, and friends who came and went from this house. In fact, so many relatives lived here at one point that the Browns rented a house down the street for a time to accommodate them all. Margaret's parents, John and Johanna Tobin, who had moved to Leadville after she did, lived here in this home until their death. Stories tell of Mother Joanna making a miraculous recovery of health every Sunday morning when it was time for church. Margaret's three nieces from her brother Daniel also lived here for a short time after their mother passed away. Margaret ensured their education and upbringing as smart and talented young women. Florence, Grace, and Helen Tobin went on to be accomplished performers and humanitarians. Niece Helen was closest to Margaret and was often confused as her daughter. Helen remarked to newspapers in 1914 that she simply didn't understand all the fuss about women getting the right to vote. The last bedroom we'll explore today belonged to son Lawrence. Larry attended the Colorado School of Mines following in his father's footsteps. As it became clear the United States would enter World War I, a now married Larry enrolled in officer school. As a captain, he was deployed to France in August 1918 as part of the American Expeditionary Forces. In late September, Larry was hit with mustard gas and was in the hospital for two months recovering. Larry was awarded a victory medal for helping to break the Hindenburg Line and received an honorable discharge in 1919. Larry divorced his first wife Eileen after the war and married Hollywood actress Mildred Gregory. Larry had met Mildred while working in the silent film industry in California. Larry and Mildred eventually returned to Leadville, Colorado where he served as director of the Colorado Mining Association. Larry, age 61, died in Leadville in 1949. Larry gifted many family papers and photos to the State Historical Society with the caveat they not be opened for 25 years. Historic Denver gained access to those archives in 1974 and they became invaluable for understanding the Brown family and their legacy as well as for restoring this home.